Lesson 12.3, Cylinders and Cones. Let's define them. Cylinder. It's a prism with circles for bases. Draw your circle on the top. Bring your lines down. Draw half a circle on the bottom and dot the other half in. It's a can of soup. It's a Coke can. Whatever you want. A right cylinder. is at a right angle to the base. The height is at a right angle to the base. So we would call this the height. That's the height. And we'd also call it the altitude. And the radius, it's just the radius of the top and the bottom since they're the same. Not really all that complicated. It's a really common shape, though. Looking at a glass right now, a pencil sharpener, a pencil cup, all sorts of things that basically are right cylinders, or some variation thereof. What would be an oblique cylinder? It'd be something that's like smoosh sideways, It'd be like a slinky if you take it and you push over the side. Do we have any oblique problems yet? No, we really don't deal with these very much. In this case, the right angle would be there. But we haven't really dealt with those much, and we're not going to. They're not something that pops up much in the real world, and certainly not in our class. So, lateral area that, you know, take the wrapper off the soup can. What's the area of that thing? And it's actually a little less than that because the soup can will overlap a tiny bit. But keep drawing those pictures. And I'm getting worse. Yeah, there we go. I don't like the top. I really don't like the top. There we go. So the height is... Pick a number, 10, and let's be specific, inches, and the radius, four inches. So simple, lateral area, two times pi times four times 10, lateral area equals 80 pi inches squared. And again, that's just the area around the outside. So 2 pi r is the circumference, and we're just multiplying it by the height. Pretty straightforward if you look at it. What would be the total area? Well, we'd need the base area, which would be pi times 4 squared equals 16 pi. And then the total area would be adding them together, except there's two bases. 80 pi plus 2 times 16 pi, 112 pi. That's how you do the total area. Nothing different than a regular cylinder, uh, than a prism, where you just have bases that are circles. So volume, let's use the one above. Simple enough, pi r squared. Times height. Notice sometimes I put in my units, sometimes I don't. Doesn't matter. I usually don't just because it keeps things a little simpler. But that's pretty much as easy a calculation as we'll do all year. 160 pi inches cubed. Sorry, it's not very complicated. Blast it out. Which is nice after the pyramids, they're pretty complicated. So, cone. It's a circular pyramid. Base is a circle. It's like a funnel upside down. An oblique cone would look like this. The 
height is on the side somewhere. This one's actually at a right angle. It wouldn't have to be at a right angle. But again, we do the height down the middle. And the radius is the radius of the cone. So lateral area of the cone is one half the circumference times the slant height. Uh-oh, didn't label slant height. L equals slant height. So let's draw a cone. So I've only done one of them. And the height will make eight meters, and the radius will make six meters. And you have to find the lateral area. Of course, you need slant height L which hopefully you know by now is 10 meters due to Mr. Pythagoras. So lateral area equals pi times six meters times 10 meters. Lateral area equals 60 pi. What's the base area? Pi times six squared, 36 pi meters squared. And the total area, just add them together, 96 pi meters squared. You know, you just you start to get good at it. You start to get used to it. The area of the size, the area of the base. Well, there's only one base now. I don't have to add two of them. In a cylinder, there were two of them, so on and so on. And again, let's be lazy. Let's use this one. The volume is one-third pi four squared times eight. Like a dummy, I picked an example with nice without nice numbers, so I'm gonna have a third in the answer. Oh no, what are we gonna do with ourselves? It's a tragedy, that's all I can say. Uh, eight times 16, it's a big number, so it's 48. I think it's 128 over three pi, in this case, meters cubed. want to double check that real quick because I'm not confident about my math in my head. I don't know what you're saying. Aren't you a math teacher? Yep. That worked. That's all there is. Lots of formulas. Will you get them on a quiz? From me, you will. Oh, but what if I have to memorize them? There's not that many. Notice the pi squared shows up all the time. And the circumference pops up a lot. That sort of thing. That's it. Good luck.